Welcome to this demo video for our paper titled Towards MOOCs for Lip Reading, Using Synthetic Talking Heads to Train Humans in Lip Reading at Scale. In the digital age of the 21st century, the whole field of education is being transformed by massive online open courses, popularly known as MOOCs. MOOCs often have several advantages over traditional forms of education. They are cost-effective, reach a wider audience, and positively impact students. While MOOCs are available for almost every subject, specific topics in a subject, and even subtopics, they, unfortunately, do not cover particular types of education required by people with special needs. Hearing loss is one of the most severe forms of disability and the second most common impairment in the world. People with hearing disabilities suffer multiple challenges, mainly from the difficulty in communication. Lip reading is often the chosen communication method in such cases. However, deciphering content solely from mouth movements is a highly challenging task requiring special educative training. Traditionally lip reading training is generally imparted in schools for people suffering from hearing loss and during speech therapy sessions. However, these physical modes of education have limited reach. This is especially true in the current scenario where the advent of the pandemic has greatly limited social interaction. Online lip reading training platforms like lipreading.org are a viable alternative to the traditional ways. These platforms have much a wider reach and are considered cost effective for the students. These platforms offer different assessments to improve an enrolled student's lip reading skills. Silent videos of different speakers are shown to the participants, uttering words, phrases, and sentences that they must recognize. The feedback from the correct answers help the participants learn to lip read better. However, developing such platforms is not an easy task. It is a costly and laborious affair to record multiple speakers covering an extensive vocabulary, accents, and languages. Thus, the current platforms only support a small vocabulary of American accented English and have a small set of speakers. This leads to a considerable hindrance to the quality of lip reading training imparted to the participants. In this work, we propose to replace manually recording a speaker with a pipeline to generate synthetic talking heads which can quickly scale to unlimited vocabulary, multiple languages, accents, and speakers. We use multiple state-of-the-art TTS models in our pipeline to generate speech from given words, sentences, or phrases. The TTS models generate speech in different accents and speaking styles, increasing the variation in speech. Next, we scrape a large amount of talking face videos for different identities from the internet. We aim to use Wave 2 Lip to sync random pairs of collected talking faces and the TTS-generated speech to create synthetic talking heads speaking known content. Instead of naively syncing a random talking face video with the synthetic speech, we first align the synthetic speech with the input video so that the silent regions of speech correspond to the silent regions of the input video. This is to avoid failures from Wave 2 Lip which often leaves residual lip movements from the input video in the output when silent speech is synced with moving lips. After alignment of the silent regions of the input talking head videos and the TTS-generated speech, we pass both through Wave 2 Lip, generating a lip-synced output. The output video contains the lip movements corresponding to the input speech. Please note that this whole process is easily automated and helps us create content rapidly. To check if the generated videos can replace real ones, we conduct a comprehensive user study on the task of lip reading. We follow the same tests mentioned in lipreading.org and even use the same speakers to maintain parity. But before diving into the details of the user study, let us check a few visual results directly comparing real with synthetic. As we can clearly see, the generated lip movements match those of the original videos. Therefore, we leverage this fact and conduct a full-fledged user study replacing the original videos with the generated ones. We evaluate the performance of 50 participants on three lip-reading tasks, lip-reading isolated words, lip-reading sentences with context, and lip-reading missing words in a sentence. 
We report mean lip reading scores against standard deviation, 95% confidence interval, and standard errors of the mean. Our primary aim is to validate if the synthetic talking heads generated by our pipeline can replace the real talking head videos in terms of visual quality and are easy to discern. For this, we perform the Bayesian estimation supersedes the t-test, best, to compare the user's performance on real and synthetically generated American accented English. We observe that the best statistic lies in the 95% highest density confidence interval for all three lip-reading protocols, indicating that the difference between the scores across real and synthetic videos is statistically insignificant. This validates the viability of the proposed pipeline as an alternative to the existing online lip-reading training platforms. In this work, we also show the importance of accent in lip-reading. We create a similar database of talking heads using Wave 2 Lip and an Indian accented TTS. Here are two examples of American versus Indian accented videos. Building. Building. Mark. Mark. We now validate if lip reading in a native accent or language affects lip reading performance. Existing lip-reading training platforms are available in a few select accents and languages. However, more than 80% of deaf people are from developing countries, yet, no suitable lip-reading training platforms for them exist today. To validate if native accented videos improve lip-reading performance, we compare the lip-reading scores of participants in synthetically generated Indian and American accented English using the paired sample z-test. An example of synthetically generated videos in Indian and American accented English is shown here. The table show that the Z statistic lies outside the 90% acceptable critical range for two tasks, lip-reading words and lip-reading sentences. Consequently, the p-value also lies outside the acceptable range indicating that the difference in the mean scores is statistically significant. This supports our claim that lip-reading on a native accent significantly affects a user's lip-reading performance. This necessitates bootstrapping lip-reading training platforms in multiple languages slash accents across the globe. We believe our work can open up new avenues for creating large-scale MOOCs for lip-reading. Our method of synthetic data generation easily scales to new languages and accents covering newer geographies. Our user studies shows the effectiveness of our system. We will be publicly releasing our platform. Thank you.